when you play Frontline, you might find that you don't use the repair kits and the first aid kits as often as you do during random battles. So you might not you might not want to bring them into the game. Also remember that you're going to get flanked from behind a lot more often, uh, potentially during frontline. So you might get set on fire more often. So you have to, uh, your choice of consumables is going to be different when you play frontline. And the same is true for equipment. Uh, with frontline, a gun rammer might not be as important. You might want to have enhanced gun laying drives and V-stab because you're going to be shooting from long distances even if you're playing heavy tanks. And I found that binocular telescopes are mostly a waste of time in frontline, at least from my playing style. With light tanks, I would never use a binocular telescope in frontline. I did try it. It was a complete waste of time. But if you're a sniper, you might want to use binoculars. I also use camouflage nets a lot more frequently in frontline because I like to do a lot of sniping sniping with my light tanks, and I was getting spotted too often, and with the camo nets, I was getting spotted less often. If you're playing uh, Frontline, you may have directives which give you uh, certain features. For example, this first one will give me camo for all my crew skills. You might have a tank that you want to play. Perhaps you have a rental tank, or, you know, I have five uh, crew skills. It says times four plus one. I've got five crew skills on like 140 tanks, but you might not have that. So you might want to go in and look at your crew skills here and add something that's missing when you play frontline. Like uh, six Sense is going to be one of the important ones that you might want to add and maybe uh, concealment. Uh, and you can also do it for equipment. Uh, and the other advantage to using these in frontline is you're going to get a lot more game time using this in frontline than you would with a random battle. With a random battle, you might only get five minutes out of five to seven minutes out of game time. But with frontline, if you're alternating between two tanks, you might get a lot more game time. And I think that frontline is a lot more fun. So you might get a lot more value using directives and even consumables uh, such as gasoline. You, you might get a lot more use playing frontline. If your tank dies and respawns, you only have to pay for the consumable once. So you get a lot more value. And if you're a really good player, you can play an entire 25-minute game with just one tank. I've had it happen to me, and I've seen other players do it.